Let's go over the top five weirdest things that I've learned since moving to Sweden. For those of you that don't know, my name is Will and I moved to Sweden just over a year ago. And I've learned some pretty crazy and weird things about Sweden since I moved there. Now, number five is a quick one. It is how they say yes. Now down south, it is a little bit more normal where they still incorporate the word and go, yeah. But up north, it's just, you hungry? You tired? Need to poop? Okay, now this is where they start to get a little bit more fun and a little bit more weird as we go on. Now, Sweden is so good at discarding of their trash that they actually import trash from other countries. So when they discard of their trash, they actually burn most of it, which is how they generate electricity. Because they've become so good at discarding of their own trash and burning it, they've actually started importing it from the countries around them. Now, they do get paid to get all this trash in and take it from the country that don't want it but then they burn it and make the electricity which of course is then saving the country money too it's a win-win and only about one percent of the trash actually ends up in landfill in sweden now talking about importation into sweden brings me to number three and that is that sweden imported a king in 1818 they ran out of heirs to the throne so what did they do they did what everyone would do in that circumstance they went to france and got one from there now he wasn't actually a king at the time he was a nobleman by the name of Sean Baptiste Bernadotte and when he moved to Sweden they needed to give him a Swedish name and make him sound Swedish. So they changed his name to King Carl the 14th or in English King Charles and that was his name going forward. King Carl's bloodline still runs through the current royal family that is in Sweden to this day. Now number two and this was probably the strangest thing that I had found when I moved to Sweden. Definitely what made me feel the most uncomfortable being an outsider. And when they wanted me to join in on this, I just didn't feel comfortable. As a lot of you will know, and for those of you that don't know, summer is beautiful. They got lovely weather. They love to be outside. They will eat dinner outside every single night that they can. When it is at the peak of summer, they will put up a pole in the backyard or on the oval or the field or wherever they are to celebrate midsummer. And they will dance around it like a frog. Now, Swedes do not find this weird because they've grown up with it and it's part of their tradition. But for someone on the outside who has never seen someone dance around a pole like a frog, it is interesting to say the least. And that brings us to number one. If you have seen viral videos that have gone up on YouTube or Facebook where people are eating something and it smells so bad that they want to or do vomit, then you've probably seen a video on surstroming. Oh my god! Oh my god! It is fermented fish that smells absolutely horrible and a lot of Swedes will not eat it. They do not even want it in their house. It smells so bad that if you get it on anything, it could smell for months. Which is the reason that you're not allowed to take it onto an aircraft. Because if it did pop and go everywhere, they might just need to burn it and get a new plan. Now I'm someone that doesn't do so well with smells. So if you wanna see us eat that and try it, let us know down in the comments. We'll have to get a lot of people wanting to see this because otherwise I'm not gonna do it. It sounds revolting and I don't think Josie will wanna do it either. No. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you wanna watch another one on the top five things that I learned since moving to Sweden, click this one up here.